Hello, it's Coach Michelle today and I'm trying something new with some music in the background and I'm going to try to keep this to exactly 15 minutes so we'll see how it goes. I've got my timer on. All you're going to need is a um, resistance band. I'm using a heavy today. If you don't have one that's fine. It can all be done without a band or maybe you have a light band. So we're going to start first with some stretches and I'll give you about maybe a few more seconds just to get ready and let's say about five, we'll start in four seconds, three, two and one. So you're going to stand with your feet hip width apart and we're just going to do some gentle stretches. So breathe in and breathe out, come forward. all the way up and down. Breathe in and breathe out. Let's do one more and out. And then let's do some leg circles. So let's start with the right leg and we're going to circle clockwise. So let's do about maybe five, two, three, four, five. And then let's reverse, standing up nice and tall. One, two, keeping your shoulders back. Three, four, and five. Just imagine someone, just rest for a second there. Imagine someone's pulling a string to keep you nice and straight. Then we're gonna go with the left leg. So one, two, we're going counterclockwise. Three, four, five. And then reverse, one, two. You can keep your arms out for balance. Three, four, and five. And then we're going to lift one knee up to our chest or as high as you can take it. Maybe here's where you can take it. If you have a wall nearby, you can grab your wall. Just bring your knee in close to your chest. Holding. Five, four, three, two, one. And let's grab our toe our heel back towards our bum, breathing in and out, and one more breathe in and out, and then we grab our left leg to our chest, and just look at something ahead of you, that sometimes helps with the balance, if you just find a focal point ahead of you, and just stare at that as you hold your knee. And then you're gonna grab your toe of your left foot and bring it back behind you. And then we're gonna start next with our resistance band. Four, Three, two, and one. Okay, we're gonna get our resistance band on and we're gonna put it just above our knees. So go ahead and grab that. I'm using a heavy, you can use a light, you can use a medium, and you can also use the fabric bands. I have those as well. I kind of go back and forth just depending. Okay, so we're gonna have our feet hip width apart. And the band is just above the knees. It can go just a little bit higher, but it tends to fold over. So I like it just above my knees. You're going to stand up nice and straight. If you want to use a wall or a chair for support, you can do that. And all we're going to do with our right leg is we're just going to do side kicks. So to the side, one, two, three, come forward. Four, you can have your arm out, five, six, seven, keep going, eight, and 
five, four, three, two, and one. And we're gonna reverse. Just balance yourself, have that right arm out and with the left leg. And you can tap down or you can keep your leg up. It's a little more challenging if you keep the leg up. And focus on standing nice and tall. You can have the left arm out too. Keep going. Just put everything else out of your mind. Just focus on your movement. And we've got about 20 seconds. Okay, the next move we're gonna do is similar. So we're gonna have, we're gonna kick out to the right and then we're gonna kick back, just kind of on a diagonal. So I'll do it sideways. So we're gonna kick side and then diagonal at the back. So side, diagonal. So it's not all the way back, that's all the way back. So that's the diagonal that we're looking for. And you can put your hands on your waist or you can have them out if that helps. So let's do three, two, one. Let's do one more. Okay, now we're going to switch to left side. side, diagonal, and I find keeping my foot flexed helps. You can point it if you find that easier. And the tendency when you're doing this is to want to lean this way. So you've got to fight against that. Stand up nice and tall. Again, you can put your arms out. A table nearby. I think I'm going to use that here. Let's do three more. And one more. Okay, and rest. I'm thinking I should use the lighter band for this. That's okay, I like a challenge. Okay, the next move we're gonna do, we're gonna have our legs hip width apart and we're gonna come down into a squat position. So you can bring your hands, clasp them together, you can keep them on your waist, you can bring them behind your head. So just up and down, keeping the back as straight as you can. And when you stand up, squeeze your bum. and straight and remember to squeeze when you come up down and squeeze and I'll come sideways so almost like you're sitting back on a chair This one a little bit longer. So let's try eight, seven, and let's go a little faster. Six if you can. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, so coming back to legs hip width apart and then this time what we're going to do is we're going to do a side lunge 
and then we're going to do a back lunge. I'm going to come a little more forward here. So side on the right side and back. And you don't have to put your knee all the way down. Some people go all the way down. Just go where you're comfortable with. When I was starting out, sometimes I would just do this much because that's all I could do. So as you get stronger, you'll be able to go lower. So let's do right. Keeping the back nice and straight. You're doing an amazing job. Let's same for three more. It's okay if your band creeps up. And let's do one more. And let's take a breather here and take time to straighten out your band. That's the bonus of the fabric bands. They don't move around like this. Okay, so get ready. Give you about five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and let's go to the left. And back. Left. Back. Side. Back. Make sure I'm in the frame here. And if you want more challenging, try not to top down. Let's do four more. your mat and we're going to take our band off and we're going to bring it to our hands so we're going to have it up above our head and I think I'm going to kneel down just so you can see so stand or kneel with your hands above your head and then you're just going to pull the right arm down and pull the left arm and you can even add a bit of a side bend to this. So side bend as you pull. Keep the back nice and straight. I'll show you from the side. Okay, now you'll see it from the right. So as far as you can pull down. Let's go for three more. Two. And last one. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you can actually drop the band for this one. And you can put your hands behind your head and your legs just about hip width apart. We're just gonna do side bends. So right, up, left, up, right, up, left, up. Let's do one more each side. Okay, now we're gonna do a little bit of a stretch. So if you're kneeling, you can do it from kneeling or if you're standing, uh, I'm kneeling. So let's just bring our right leg forward and just come forward. Put your hands on your, just above your knee and just stretch and hold. And if you can, you can put your hands down in the inside of your right foot and just 
just hold. Okay, and I will reverse now. So left knee forward. Just hold just above the knee, put both hands as you come forward. And bring both hands down. legs forward and reach for your toes and you're going to slightly just look beyond your toes and maybe you're just holding right at your calf or maybe grabbing your toes And then we're going to end off in child's pose. You're going to come on all fours and just come forward, hands forward. And if you want, you can open your legs or you can have your legs closed, either or. And just reach forward. Breathe in long. Just do one final breathe in, breathe out. Let's do one more, breathe in, and breathe out. And until next time, enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.